All right, lesson 1.9 is on scientific notation. So we're going to take what we did yesterday with uh, estimating quantities with powers of 10 and learn the official rules of scientific notation. So um, come some fill-in stuff here. Scientific notation is a way of writing really large or really small numbers. And I know some people made comments about, well, that's a lot of zeros. Well, yeah, it is. And that's why we can take really big numbers or really small numbers with all those zeros and condense it. Scientific notation is written as a product, so it's a multiplication problem, of two numbers. The first number must, between, must be between 1 and 10. So anywhere from 1.0 to 9.999999, okay? And the second number must be a power of 10. And that's what we were kind of introducing in the last lesson, a power of 10. So how we convert number from standard form, standard form is how we're used to writing things, um, into scientific notation, is we create a number between 1 and 10 by moving the decimal. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Remember, every number has a decimal point. If it's not there, it comes at the end. And then you're going to count. You're going to count the number of times you move the decimal. This number will be your power of 10. So we're going to think of this in terms, maybe not yesterday, how we... Um, we're counting zeros. Remember, that only works for powers of 10, but we're going to be talking about counting how many times you move the decimal. If the number is greater than 1, your exponent will be positive. Think big numbers, positive. If it's less than 1, so really tiny numbers, the exponent is going to be negative. Okay, so let's take these conversion rules here and let's um, practice. Okay, so convert the number to scientific notation. All right, so the first thing it says create a number between 1 and 10 by moving the decimal. Well, where did, what does that mean? Our decimal point is right here. There is no decimal point written, but we put it at the end. If there was one there, we would just go to that one. Now I want to create a number between 1 and 10 by moving it. Well, if I put a decimal point right here between the 1 and the 8, that becomes a number between 1 and 10. This is different than when we were estimating and we'd round this one to up in this case to two, two million. In this case, I want to rewrite this as 1.85. Now, because this is a shortcut way, I'm not going to include these zeros. Here's how I'm going to count for zeros. I'm going to move it from where I want it to where it is. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Okay, so I moved it six times. And that's the number is your power of 10, 10 to the 6th. Now remember, scientific notation is written as a product. This is multiplication. So we're basically going 1.85 times 10 to the 6th. And that's it. Okay, just following these rules, this is the how we're going to do it every time. So now let's do a couple more examples. Convert the number to scientific notation. That's 42,000. Our decimal point is really here. And I want it between the 4 and the 2. If it goes between the 4 and 2, remember that becomes a number between 1 and 10. So it's always that number between 1 and 10 times 10. Every single time, it's always going to be times 10. Something times 10. Now, the power of 10, that's how many times we move the decimal place. Not how many zeros, how many times we move the decimal place. One, two, three, four. So that becomes 10 to the fourth. Now, 42,000, that's a big number, a large number greater than one, so it's a positive exponent. 1,850,000, large number, positive exponent. Notice, too, if you go from where you want it to where it is, you're moving to the right, positive direction. Okay? Compare that now to number three here, where we have this really small number, so number less than one. I will tell you though, it's still going to be times 10, because that's what scientific notation is. This one we don't put the decimal point at the end because it's already there, but I want it between the seven and the eight. Okay, I can't put it in front of the seven, that's 0 0.7. This number has to be between one and 10. So I'm going to rewrite this as 7.826, and then move the decimal points. If I go from where I want it, one, two, three to where it is, I move it three times. Now, if you think of it as you move it from where you want it to where it is, 
that means you're going to the left, that's negative, or you can think of 0 0.00787826, that's a really small number. So we want to make that a negative exponent. Same thing here, convert the number to scientific notation. Now here, we wanted to go behind the one and just make that one because we need this to be a number between one and 10. So you can't stop short of the one, okay? So we have one times 10, one, two, three, four, five, five decimal places. And because this is a very tiny number, um, it's negative five. And I actually went backwards there using the other trick I was using. If you go from where you want it to where it already is, we'd be moving left five, which would give us a negative five. So this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is scientific notation. And these are the rules we have to follow. It has to be a number between one and 10. It's always times 10. And then our power, the power it's raised to, the exponent, large number will be positive, small number, less than one will be negative.